Finally, finally. I would never. How are you? I was just trying to kill time because you were just doing it. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Speaking of doing it, of course, Mbaku has been a big hit with the ladies. I'm sure you've seen all the memes in the Twitter universe. What's going on? Did you expect the reaction no. that the woman gave? Not at all. <laughs> Not in the least. Has the your stories. dating life changed? Hey, man, you know, I can't. I'm not a liberty to say. <laughs> Gentleman doesn't tell. You know what I mean? Of course, Black Panther has been such an important film mm. for black people across all spectrums within film. What do you think that is going to mean for children and future actors as far as opening opportunities? Um, it's going to mean everything. It's going to mean everything, but it's also... So it's going to mean everything that they don't have to go through it a lot more firsts. There's still a lot of things to do, so nothing is is solved but it's going in a great direction but it's up to us right now to take the heat and the momentum of this film and not have anyone say things like it's it's complete we don't live in a post-racial um, industry <laughs> it's not a post-racial industry there's still a lot more and there's still a lot more like intersections that need to be you know bridged you know what I mean? Black Panther was great for us, but we also need, you know, our Hispanics and and Asian brothers and sisters to get their own films and for them to like challenge and break down their boundaries. And the conversation is equity and the conversation is ownership. So we need Asian directors, Hispanic directors, Indian directors, screenwriters, producers, press, press casting, everything. So it's not post-racial, it's not over, but I feel we're taking all the right steps in all the right directions for everyone who's coming behind us.